Hey everyone, welcome to Eyes Closed with the Hana here hello, at hello, Brixton hello, Academy. Hello. Sold out gig, feeling good? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. Third time selling this one out. So, yeah, it's huge for us. It's huge to sell it out any, even once. And uh, we haven't been on tour for a while, so it's very special that we're back here again, finally doing it. So, yeah, we can't wait to get back out there. Not bad, eh? So, what, what sort of, like, headspace are you guys in? Because, like, obviously you're still touring off of Dare, but... I know that you've been working on new stuff. So, like, what's the... Yeah, like, h how are you approaching this whole thing? Uh, we've been doing lots of writing in LA at the moment uh, with a guy called John Feldman from Goldfinger. Um, he actually currently wants to take on the next record, which is really exciting. And uh, we're doing lots of writing here in the UK. And um, we're playing two new songs tonight. Um, one's called Degaff and one's called I Get High to Forget. And, uh, yeah, it all sounds fucking awesome. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. We're just we, again we haven't played for so long and we've been through some bad things recently yeah. with labels and stuff. But we're through that. So yeah, to be touring <coughs> again and yeah, the reaction from the fans has been mental. So yeah, we're just every show's been insane so far. So we're just excited to just get back out there and just cause mayhem. Super gas. Super gas. Super gas. Bring it. So and those those two new songs. Can you tell me like a quick sentence about each of them the first one i get high is the first song that we uh wrote after the stuff with our ex management and label yeah um so it's about that mm -hmm. um and the other one we got back only like just before we went on tour and we weren't going to play it because we didn't have it and then it came back and we loved it so much and we were like we've got to put it in the set so yeah we're still getting used to used to it as well which is fun for us and it's gonna be good tonight because every <coughs> night yeah it's it's a fast one it's getting better and better yeah. every fun night one. yeah yeah mm. like so yeah fifth, is this our fifth night on tour fifth, like fifth show it is fifth yeah playing them so yeah, yeah they, they feel awesome yeah speedy um the, the the newest newest one is like brand new to the point where we only played it a couple of days before tour yeah. And already it's kind of going down like, a, yeah. Like, a like yeah, just an absolute yeah. fireball. Yeah. I mean, it sounds sick. I can't <laughs> it sounds like a fucking All party, if you ask me. <laughs> and so I, I saw that you had some uh, some bagpipes in, in Glasgow. Uh, yeah. Is that true? I, I partied with that dude in London. Oh my God. And then, lo and behold, he was like a really, he's like a professional bagpipes player. And then we thought it'd be a really good idea to fly him to Glasgow. And uh, get him to open the set. Well, not the set, the encore. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. encore. The encore. Okay. Mm. It's, it's on the videos, it's official, it happened. Yeah. He's there. And <laughs> it's awesome. It's, and even just looking back at the, the videos that our photographer, Mila, over there did, mm -hmm. um, it's quite it's quite surreal mm. that it happened yeah. in a cool way. Do you know how to go on the pipes? Yeah, yeah. I, had a, I had a bit of a go on the pipes, yeah. You need a, you need a heavy, hefty lungs to get it going, but. <laughs> Yeah, I managed to get a, a few sounds out of it. <laughs> Nearly fainted. Or yeah, literally, literally. Yeah, Fun, every, everyone loved it. Yeah, yeah, yeah the crowd really. loved it. Yeah. Yeah. It was so I'm fun for us. I'm after take up, guys. I mean, you know. Yeah, you might, you might hear bad parts on the way Exactly. Um, along as well. I mean, yeah, I, I can I can picture it already. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. it's yeah. a good good thing. So <laughs> is that like a, a one off thing, or or are you planning other things like in other countries? Oh, if maybe? we could, we definitely just improvise as we go. Yeah. Like if we meet someone and it makes it happen then it happens i yeah. guess okay. yeah. Yeah. do you know what i mean yeah. sure so like if i were like i play the recorder yeah pretty pretty pip and skills <laughs> would that be like a thing that could potentially happen or we could definitely try and fit in a recorder into one of the songs for sure yeah. Yeah. absolutely we're very we're very justin bieber in never say never <laughs> right mm -hmm. so do you like that reference we can't rule it out yeah yeah anything I mean, anything never say never yeah <laughs> Absolutely. Sorry for the. We tried to get, the, we tried to yeah. get my motorbike on stage <laughs> I mean, tonight. There'd be a dramatic entrance. Yeah. So we tried. We tried to do that, but um, unfortunately, safety yeah. regulations say no. Really? Oh. That, I mean, that's just ridiculous. One day. <laughs> oh, that's not a good idea. One day I will ride onto the stage. He will ride. He will ride. With the knights. You heard it here first. In shine armor. I'm so excited for that. Holy hell. Um, and so I saw that you. I love that. <laughs> 
<laughs> I saw that you went to see Busted also. Oh, was it all of you? Yeah, man. Ryan's <laughs> favorite band. Yeah. Okay. yeah. So how so how was good. that? And how, when can we expect a Busted uh, co-headline tour? Um, oh, right. I mean, if 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 they'd be interested, maybe we could talk about it. I'm not sure if it's the right demographic for us um in terms of fan base and vibe um unfortunately i'm just being honest people but the reason we went is because when i was 13 i was the biggest busted fan i was in busted juniors yeah was that a thing can you elaborate mic drop um yeah i made a th- i made a band which featured absolutely no instruments whatsoever um, is that like uh, called busted is that like juniors. s club juniors yeah. it was like s club juniors but nobody knew about me, okay. and yeah. I'd made no money. I wasn't famous. I wasn't cool. Like S Club Juniors, you know, Frankie went on to be in the Saturdays and stuff. Yeah. They actually had a career. Whereas they had a my, TV show my career well. was just one performance to my class when I was, yeah, I think I was uh, 11 years old. Okay, I, mean, I would say that Busted Juniors shaped me for free sold out nights at Brixton Academy. Someone, someone, actually, yeah. uh, someone actually told me that that's what he went to school for. Oh, hey. oh hello. And they're going to be playing our music. You're full of them today. <laughs> wow. I honestly, I haven't seen any of these coming out. Like, I haven't seen and because of that, they're going to be playing our music until the year 3000. Yeah, well, there you go. All right. My God, I can't. Oh, are we wrapping up? One more question? Yeah? Okay. Character wise, who's the biggest troublemaker? Troublemaker. It's really hard. I I would say that all four of us together have a lot of troublesome moments. I I wouldn't be able to pick one, to be honest. We all get messed up. I've gone to trouble recently, you know, over the past few months. But this tour has been trouble free, to be honest. Hey, okay. I mean, Manchester was actually pretty troublesome. Yeah. Not in a bad way, in like the we'll fun way. Trouble finds us too. Yeah. yeah. Not actually, our bus about to blow up. Like we're about to. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Our bus is potentially going to blow up. Yeah. We had to leave it last yeah. night and go get a hotel room. I mean, we couldn't even find anywhere that did a decent breakfast. That's I mean, trouble. Come on. <laughs> we went around the whole of Brixton we and we couldn't find brunch. I couldn't find scrambled eggs, man. Yeah, I mean, I would, Absolutely I would travesty, throw a man. fit over that. Like, all day all breakfast. Day. Where trouble, is it? Where is it? We couldn't get in our, in, into our hotel room. We paid for our hotel room. Yeah. We couldn't even get into it. Yeah. The, guy was like, the guy was like, you're not allowed to stay in it. We were like, but we paid for it. He was like, I don't care. We were like, uh, there's something not right here. Uh, yeah. That literally makes no sense. Yeah. I and know. we had to kill it. It didn't, it didn't <laughs> make sense. And it nearly, it nearly killed us. My, minor uh, plot twist there. Okay. Well, yeah. thank you guys. So. You'll never know if it's true or not. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for, for talking to me. You have an Cheers, awesome show. I'm really so excited for it. Appreciate All it. All right. See you guys soon. One love. Bye. Thank you.